Hello, um, I'm going to do a tutorial today and because I'm going out to a class party and I just got my hair done as well. I finally got the ombre thing done and this light, as I've said before, and this camera is absolutely horrific so you can't really see it but it is dark at the top, not green and blonde at the bottom and he did some kind of curls in it with um, using like hairbrushes like instead of rollers, it's funny. Anyways, I'm going to just show you how I'm doing my makeup tonight. Um, for a change, I'm going to try and do a green smoky eye because I always do every other kind of smoky eye under the sun on myself and I never do green. But I kind of want to vamp it up a small bit. I feel like green wouldn't contrast my eyes well enough because my eyes are kind of a greeny... I kind of tend to think they're gre more green than blue. But then again, like, you know, in different lights with people's eyes, you tend to not know what your eye colour really is. But I feel like when I've worn green before, it didn't like make my eyes pop as much as I'd like them to. So I might just vamp it up a small bit and put in some pink maybe and gold and see how that goes. So kind of I'm just running with Anthony here. I'm not sure what I'm doing really, but I might as well just show you while I'm doing it. Okay, uh, I'm going to be using um, my Pro Longwear foundation. I'll probably show myself doing some of it, but like I already have a video on how do I put my foundation on. So go look at that now if you, because I have the same routine always. So go look at that now if you want to know what foundation, how I put it on and stuff. It's very simple, okay? Okay, so I have my foundation on now and I'm starting off with um, this paint pot that I could have talked about in a video I put up. I haven't a clue if I put it up yet or if it's going to be up after this. I just I don't keep track of them. It's called Genuine Treasure and it's part of some collection that's in there at the moment. So it's still in there if you want to check it out. I'm using a synthetic brush with this because... I find that it goes on better with that. I've tried to put it on with my fingers and it doesn't give the same kind of a coverage. So I've kind of just put on a base with there. Um, kind of looks clumpy from here, but it's not. It's just the way the glitter I think is picking up. These are only bases anyway, so this will just make the color of the green pop. Where if you want to do any kind of a smoky eye, this would just give a greeny kind of an undertone to it, to the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this palette mostly. I got it for Christmas a while, like I'd say two years ago maybe. Um, it's a Devil May Dare Warm Eyeshadows. Um, but basically, like, if you get a kind of an olivey green, I think I'm going to be using these two colours mainly. The pink here, the olivey green, and the gold. So anything that, any colours that, like, look like them will do. Like, you don't need to go and search for this palette. And I'm sure MAC have dupes for them because that's what they tend to do at Christmas is or collections. They tend to bring out colours that are actually very similar to ones that are in there already and just call them different names, which is a bit sly really if you ask me. But they do sell. And you're just like popping that all over where the green is. But we're not blending yet at all. So once you kind of have your basic outline of it, um, I'm going to get a smaller brush. And I'm going to use this brush with the pink. Um, and put this in the inner corner of my eye.
it's quite a shimmery pink so it's not like very intense when you put it on like it doesn't look that crazy and the green and the pink are actually really complement each other So once you kind of have it like that, you're happy with it, that's okay. And now I'm going to get a fluffy brush, 217, that I'm using, any kind of fluffy brush. And I'm going to get the gold, and I'm just going to put this at the top here and just blend. I'm still halfway in the green, and I'm just going to blend the green out with the gold. But I'm not putting the gold up here, it's really just going to be that like outer, the little tiny bit of the edge that will look gold. That kind of just softens up the edge of the green without getting more green and going in with it. I kind of want to smoke it up a small bit more. I have my sleek palette here. It's the it's the bad gal one. Bad gal. It's I was thinking of bad gal from Benefit. It's bad girl. <laughs> almost like it's almost the same thing. But anyways, some other random brush I have. You could use the same one again, but that's my one's kind of dirty. Just gonna use this one from the body shop and I'm gonna get this green here oh this green there it looks black on camera I don't want to like pull it down that one broke of course um it's just like a dark kind of glittery green it's like almost emeraldy and I'm gonna just put a small bit on the brush stick it in the outer corner and then I pull it in If you get fallout, don't start rubbing it with the tissue. Get a brush, preferably a fan brush if you have one, and just start flicking it away. Okay, right, I'm gonna go underneath. I got this um, Stila eye pencil from my glossy box and it's this like greeny color and these eyeliners, if you ever wanna get some, even for as bases, are unbelievable. So I would definitely recommend investing in some. And they go on so easily. But this is like a nice dark color so I'm just gonna bring that underneath the eye. Join it up with the green on the outer corner. I'll blend that for a sec. Now I'm going to line the eye with um, my MAC Smolder pencil, just a black liner. And I'm going to line both the upper waterline and the lower. I'm be wearing fake eyelashes with this look, um, so I'm just going to put on a small bit of mascara and I'm using my um, Sexy Curves Waterproof Mascara by Rimmel. Not mad about this, but beggars can't choose when you lose your mascara. I actually didn't even lose it, it's in my friend's house. So I'm just putting on a tiny bit of that.
I'm also just gonna line my top line just a small bit, um, like not even neatly with black, just so the eyelashes blend in a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna use these fake eyelashes tonight, and they are from Inglot. And I don't know why I'm speaking like this. So yeah, I'm gonna do my usual routine with them. I'm not gonna bother showing you. I have a video on how to do the eyelashes. Um, so sorry I'm cutting everything down. But there's just no point filming this because some people have already seen it. So if you really want to see how you put on fake eyelashes, I'll link the video or something. I really hope I remember because I probably actually won't link the video at all. But you can just go search for it. I don't have that many to search through. Okay, so I have the eyes done now with the eyelashes. Um, I'm just waiting for the glue to kind of dry in a bit more. Um, I'm kind of happy with the green. I think it's a nice change if you're kind of a brown person for going out. Like, I, I'd, you could easily move to greens because they're quite just as easy. I use my Sleek palette to contour and just going in there and blending. And I was thinking of setting up a blog, but I don't know what to call it. But like if anyone actually wants to leave a comment and give me an idea or say if I should set up a blog or not, I think it'll be kind of easier for when I want to show you like the kind of stuff I have on my nails or, you know, stuff like that. Um, or just writing, like I talk a lot of shite on these videos, so I could just blabber on a blog, I suppose. Um, it would be easier sometimes, I think. But I I honestly just don't know what to call it. Like, I try to think and I really can't think of anything. Like, um, so if you have any ideas for a blog for me to do, please suggest them. I'm also going to use my uh, Semi Precious Rose Quartz Mineralize Finish, Skin Finish from MAC. I'm going to just use the center of it and a small bit of the outside just to highlight. And I don't know what I'm going to do for blush, but I think I'll probably just use my um, NARS blush, NARS Orgasm. This blush here. For the lips, I'm going to line them with spice I'm gonna line them with my spice lip pencil from Mac it's a brownie kind of a nudie color And I'm just gonna like smudge that in a small bit. So the lip color isn't too strong. And then I'm using this uh, lip gloss from Benefit and it's called Who Are You Wearing? So that is it. I will just take down my hair to see what it looks like with the look. So that is the final look. I think you could possibly see my hair better now. Maybe. Um, yeah, that's the green eyes. It's kind of hard to see. Like, it's impossible for me to do videos these days because of how dark it's getting so early. And I have college and when I come home, like, I just... And I work at the weekend, so, like, it's so hard to find time. Um, so sorry if like it's dark and hard to see but like you get the idea with techniques anyways I suppose um, and technique is really the only thing for it and know what colours it is but anyways um, I hope you like it and please like it and 
leave a comment and do the usual stuff. You know, tell your friends, subscribe and whatever. Yeah. Thanks a million for watching and peace.